What is a static block? Syntax to define a static block is you need to write static keyword, open the curly bracket, close the curly bracket, and write the code inside these curly brackets. How is static block executed? The code inside static block is executed only once when first time the class is loaded into the memory. So static block is executed even before the main method when the class loading happens. Why do you need a static block? You may use static block to initialize the static variables or to display some instructions related to your application. Or you may use it to do anything that is needed to be executed before the main method, depending upon your requirement. Let us write a program to demonstrate how static block works. We have defined a class named static block. We have one static variable s and we have one instance variable i. Here we have defined the static block. Syntax for static block definition is static keyword, open the curly bracket, close the curly bracket and you write the code. We have also defined one default constructor. We have one more class static block demo in which we have written main method. So when the first statement executes, we are writing system.out.println and we are trying to print static variable s belonging to the class static block. So how do you invoke static variable? You can invoke static variable using class name. Hence we write static block dot s. So when this statement executes, the class static block is loaded into the memory and memory allocation for static variable s happens inside the memory area called as metaspace. So memory for static variable s is reserved. Yet we have not assigned any value, hence the default value will be zero. After the memory for static variable is reserved, static block executes. So when does the static block executes? At the same time, static block executes when the class is loaded into the memory. If you have multiple static blocks, they are executed in a sequence. So the code inside static block executes first statement s equal to 10,000. Here we are initializing static variable s and value 10,000 is assigned to it. Hence, value 10,000 will be stored inside the memory reserved for static variable s. Next statement is SOP. We are printing static block invoked to the console. Hence, static block invoked is printed to the console. So after the class is loaded and the static block execution is done, control comes back to the main method and SOP executes. We are invoking value of static variable s, hence value 10,000 will be printed to the console. Next, we are creating an object, static block sb equal to new static block. So a new object is created into the memory. Reference sb is created on the stack and object is created on the heap. And there is one instance variable in the class static block. Hence, memory for instance variable i is reserved inside the object. So as soon as the object is created, call to the constructor goes. Here we are not passing any arguments to the object, hence an implicit call to the default constructor is given. So control of the program comes to the default constructor. Default constructor is a constructor which does not take any arguments. Code inside default constructor executes. First statement is i equal to 1000. Instance variable i is assigned value 1000. Hence value 1000 will be stored inside the memory reserved for instance variable i in object sb. Next statement executed is SOP. The text constructor invoked is printed to the console. After the execution of the default constructor, control goes back and the next statement system.out.println is executed. We are printing value of instance variable i. Now instance variables are invoked using an object. We cannot invoke instance variable using class name. Static variables can be invoked using class name, but instance variables cannot be invoked using class name. You need to invoke instance variables using an object only. Hence, we write sb is the object sb.i and the value of instance variable i belonging to object sb is retrieved and printed. So this is the output. So this is how the sequence of execution goes when we use static block. Thank you